This time of year, you won't find much green in Saskatchewan, at least none that doesn't have a Rough Rider logo on it. But luckily, this province has produced a guy who is good at finding the green, no matter the conditions. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, actually. Kind of a cool way to, to you know, jumpstart this whole, uh, you know, sponsorship here with Shaw. So. Graham Dallette spent part of his morning launching golf balls from Saskatoon's iconic Besboro Hotel as part of a celebration announcing his partnership with Shaw. Dillette will wear Shaw logos and colors as he competes on the PGA Tour this year and for years to come. It's, it's kind of one of those things where you, you, you kind of almost pinch yourself like that, you know, huge corporations like this want to, you know, be partnered with you and at the same time, I mean, it's, it's like a, it's, a, it's an honor. In addition to providing sponsorship for Dillette, Shaw will be continuing its efforts to give to charity through its involvement with golf. Last year, the inaugural Shaw Charity Classic raised more than $2 million, the largest ever donation in the history of the Champions Tour. So we felt, wow, this is something we need to grow and build. And, you know, we happen to have, uh, you know, a, a great guy here in Saskatchewan that's done just a wonderful, wonderful job. And, uh, and the fit was, was perfect for us. He's down to earth, the same values we're about, and he's about giving back too. The relationship with Shaw is just the latest chapter in the meteoric rise for the Weyburn, Saskatchewan native. Last year, he earned $2.83 million on the tour while recording seven top 10 finishes and climbing the rankings to number 39 in the world. He also achieved two lofty goals, making both the President's Cup and the Tour Championship. Those were the two main things that, you know, in January when I started off that I wanted to do. And in all honesty, I mean, I thought that they were pretty ambitious goals, but, uh, you know, I was able to do it and it was, it was, a, it was a great year, um, but I was just kind of, you know, ser still searching for that first win, so that's kind of hopefully the next step here this year in 2014. Unless he gets a win between now and April, Dillette will get a chance to record his first victory at Augusta when he competes at the Masters for the first time. An absolute dream come true, really. I mean, it's kind of one of those things you talked with your friends. Or I remember in college hitting chip shots and putts around the greens, having little competitions, saying, when I play in the Masters, this and that, and it's like now it's a reality, you know? So uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. But if he does win the Masters, the big question becomes, Will the Shaw Blue go with the coveted green jacket? I don't know if he'd keep the hat on. I'd ask him to as he puts the green jacket on. I think they were born to match, yeah. <laughs> that would be great. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.